Good afternoon YouTube, this is Warmech95 here with another Transformers review and as you can see today we have Beast Machines Tankor. Now this is going to be uh, part one of four of a Beast Machines series I've got. Um, those of you who saw my last message uh, saw that I've got a load of got a Transformers lot off of eBay for my birthday so this is the first review I'm doing out of that lot. So yeah, as you can see, uh, those familiar with Beast Machines can kind of guess that uh, this toy bears absolutely, or pretty much no resemblance to Tankor in the actual cartoon. This is a problem that was completely uh, uh, completely epidemic in the entire line. Uh, you'll see from my uh, Jetstorm review as well. And basically, I don't know, they must have just found a random uh, toy line uh, that uh, of Transformers and say, I let's yeah, it looks like a tank, it looks like Tankor, yeah, okay. So yeah, maybe the designers were stoned or something. I don't know, I don't care, but still, anyway, on to the toy. Um, so yeah, as you can see, he is a Cybertronian tank with a rocket booster in the back. Actually looks very, very nice indeed, you know. It may not look like him in, like tank core in the show, but still, he is, he is a very cool looking tank, armored car kind of caper. You know, has a rotating turret that can rotate 360 degrees. As big man cannon can go all the way back there for whatever reason and everything so yeah and uh, I that's that pretty much um does have a missile that fires but I don't have it because it didn't come in a lot so too bad uh, rules very very well so yeah as you can see all in all a very nice uh, very nice mold um, color scheme is quite cool is actually quite reminiscent of the current Revenge of the Fallen line coming out with the kind of weird Cybertronian glyphs and the red over the black and everything and uh, nice detailing with the silver paint and all that stuff so yeah that's that. So I'm going to get on to transforming him now for you so what you do is all right when you look underneath very little robot kibble forgot about that but still big mad hollow gap stuff so you know what you're going to do. Okay so to transform him what you do is first of all you go to the back and you pull out that and then you pull out that oh you pull off that leg but then you reattach it okay and now these are going to form his legs so you bring them down like that okay and then you go to this bit which is there and you just separate that take oh, oh, put that up there take the little translucent panels and just fold them up and over like that so it goes kind of like this can be getting a little fiddly here and there you go, they're going to form his arms, bring out those down there, going to form his hands. So bring it back to here. Now this is where it all kind of gets a bit weird. You bring these round, and then you fold them down like that. So it's like this. And then you take this piece here, you rotate the legs like that midway through, and then you bring that down. And so flip it upside down, or the right way up. And there you go, there is the main body. Just reset my camera here. Okay. Now then, now that once you get them all stable and stuff, get the legs all fiddly. Now, for the arms, to make them go right, you got to rotate it around like that, and then rotate it like this, so then it bends the arm. And then do the same again for that. There should be, I think, panels on these ball joints here, but um, this thing came uncomplete so but I'm not really bothered because it probably would have hampered the articulation anyway okay just bend at the arm uh, the head you just flip down the rocket booster and it goes into this wee notch here this black tab and flip that down like that okay and then just uh, finish things off you open out his claws there there you go like that and there you go like that and there you go and just flip the camera forward now, robot mode. Very, very nice. I like this guy indeed. Um, good thing about the Beast Machines and Beast Wars lines was that they are very articulate. So, as you can see, has ball joints in the hips, uh, hinge joints on the knees, and also can swivel at the knee as well. Uh, this guy's got fairly decent stability on his legs. You know, you can get some pretty decent poses. You know, a bit of nice kneeling and firing sort of thing. Um, you can use the cannon, so you know, firing up into the sky and all that stuff. The arms at the shoulder. Oh, because this is loose, this thing kind of comes 
off very easily, but as you can see, rotates in the shoulder, rotates at the elbow, bends at the elbow, and all that jazz, so you can get a lot of nice kind of grabby poses. Uh, his gimmick uh, in his arms, the wee rubber wheel, turns this saw blade, and he has that in both arms. So when you actually roll this, these blades will spin, but you can't really see them. I think these panels you can open out a bit to show them turning, like a, a Wheels of Doom kind of grinder attack uh, sort of thing, but yeah. So as you can see, um, good detailing as well. He has um, the chest pieces, very tank core, Beast Machines-ish and stuff, and the head is actually not that bad. Uh, the head has a nice wee gimmick with the light piping. Oh, let's move that out of the way. So, as you can see, Raw Tankor Destroy Puny Mouse Bot, you know. So you can make him talk. And also with his head, when he rotates his head, the wee red light, or the wee bit of light piping in there, kind of jumps about and everything. It's it's hard to tell, but it's kind of, it makes sense. It's a nice kind of scanner eye and stuff, so... You know, as you can see, it just depends. And, you know, it's because, for some, the this neck joint is connected to this thing in the back. Uh, so whenever the, I'll just pan out a wee bit. So whenever the backpack rotates, for some reason, his head rotates as well. So that's kind of weird. And it's probably part of a gimmick that I'm not familiar with. If I had the instructions or a box or something, I could probably tell you what it's for. But um, as you do, it's a nice figure. Anyway. So yeah, very nice. Um, gimmick with Beast Machines also, Spark Crystal in the side here. It's red because he's a, meant to be a vehicle sort of thing. So yeah, um, and you know, those not familiar with Beast Machines, uh, Tankor is a vehicle general. He commands Megatron's tank drones on Cybertron and helped conquer the planet. And he was, his spark is that of Rhinox and so who's been forced into slavery in Tankor's body. Uh, Rhinox, uh, after an encounter with Optimus Primal, uh, gets his spark, or his uh, he gets his mind back under his own control, but basically decides that he should be the one in charge of Cybertron, not Megatron or Optimus Primal, and so schemes to destroy both sides and make himself the supreme ruler of Cybertron. Unfortunately, uh, Transformers Law prevents this to happen, and uh, Rhinox's spark is released from Tankor and goes to the it goes to the Matrix or the Well of All Sparks or wherever dead Transformers go and he finds redemption of sorts. Though this is a this is a debate that has I think has raged between Beast Machines or Beast Wars fans about uh, the character. But um yeah, all in all, a very nice toy indeed. Um there's too much you know, a lot of red here and stuff, so you know, it's not it doesn't scream Tankor straight away. Uh, if I had time to, if I painted it darker, it could probably make it look a bit more Tankor-ish. But um, yeah, all in all, I really like it. Um, this guy here, I think he is going to be... The good thing about this guy is there's no proper allegiance markings on him, as far as I can tell. So he, I think, in my, in my upcoming... Uh, I'm going to be looking at stop motions and stuff, you know. So I think in any upcoming projects like that, this guy is very reminiscent I think he's going to be my stand-in for Warpath for the Autobots because he's got a big, massive gun coming off the body and he's uh, pretty, he is pretty vicious looking, but still, Warpath, I think I'm going to make him quite a quite, quite a nice uh, battle-hungry character, you know. He's got big honking arms, big, you know. He's obviously been training on Cybertron to become the biggest, you know, four-armed limb transformer ever, and I think he wins. He's got nice, uh, poseable snap jaw hands as well. So yeah, that is uh, Beast Machines Tankor, and I hope you enjoyed this review. And this is Warmech95, signing off. Bye. I'm gonna get ya! Boom, bang, zap, pow, we are!